Hi, welcome to this new video on Python. So today we will look at unit tests and how you can implement them using base Python. So again, this is a very huge topic and I won't be covering any of it. I will just be scratching the very basic surface of unit testing. And unit testing is like the simplest form of testing you can do basically because you're just testing small units at a time. Um, you just test each functional block or the smallest unit of code that you have. And that's what unit testing does. Now there are like a lot of sophisticated libraries out there that um, do it for you or write tests for you. But um, there is a testing framework inbuilt in Python. And I'll just, uh, I just wanna like briefly talk about that. So um, this is contained in this module called unit test. And basically there are four main elements to it. The first one is uh, the text fixture, which is basically um, any setup that you need to do or the cleanup you need to do to perform the test. Basically, you know, the settings of the test. Test cases are basically the tests that you wanna run. So this is the main thing that's being tested. Uh, test suite is basically collection of tests and runner is the framework that, you know, runs the test and delivers the result out. So again, have a look at this documentation, provides you a lot of functionality, but then we will be working with very simple test cases. So, uh, so let's just dive in. Now, let's see. Okay, um, let me uh, get rid of this. And now let's begin. So first I begin by importing the unit test module. So once I have that imported, let me create a function that just returns the square of a number. Okay, so return x times x, great. So here I have created my own function, but then um, you can very well import your own um, classes and modules and whatnot that you wanna test. So this file is basically a test file that we will be running tests on. So to create a test, you need to subclass. So let me define, make a class called test Let's, let's call it tester. And you need to subclass it from um, unit test dot test case because we are writing um, test cases. That's why we are subclassing from uh, test case or inheriting from it. So now we can define methods here. Now the way this works is whatever method I define in this class would be run. So these each method is a different test that's gonna run. So let me give an example. So let's define um, the first test. And of course I pass in self. And the way you work with tests is you um, declare some assertions that oh, certain values need to be certain things or greater than something, less than something or equal or equality tests. So basically testing is all about, you know, some kind of assertion. So um, let me do the very basic assert equal. So, so what I'm saying is two things that I pass in should be equal. So if I pass in, uh, let's say five, it should be equal to 25. So what I have done here is I pass in five into the square function and the result should be 25, right? So that's what I'm checking. Great. Let me create another test and in which I'll write uh, another one. So set equal, I pass in zero, and then the result should be zero. Great. So this, these are the two tests that will run when um, this file is called, or the testing framework is called. And you, you call the testing framework by calling the main method of the module. So this main method of the module basically calls all the classes that are subclassed from this test case. Okay, so let's save it and let's run it. Great, so it says it ran two tests and everything okay, because it worked as it is. Now suppose I change this to be minus one. I know it shouldn't be minus one, but then let's let's see what happens if, if one of the tests fails. So I, give an, um, so I intentionally give it minus one so that these two don't match and there should be a failure. So when I run it, what do I get is that, um, it ran two tests and there was a failure. And it tells you where the failure was. It was in test two 
and then what was the failure that zero is not equal to minus one. Again, you can like make uh, tell it to throw some error messages and whatnot. You can make it more complicated as you wish. But this is the very basic way in which unit testing can be done. Now, um, another thing that I'd like to tell you about is some default methods. One of them is setup. Suppose you are, so this was a very simple example where I'm just testing a function. Now suppose you had a module that you wanted to test and that module requires a pre-setup before testing can be performed on it. So what um, this framework provides you is a pre-built function called setup, which basically sets up um, so this is run before you your testing is done. So basically it sets up any variables, any environment variables or anything that you need to set up uh, your module or anything that you're going to test. So here, let's make it very simple. Let's just define a number equals five. So this, this is all this setup is going to do. It, it just defines a number. And here I am just going to, instead of square of zero, I'll pass in that number. So again, I'm, I'm giving you a very basic examples. Um, testing is the most definitely way more complicated than this, but I just want to give you an idea of what you can achieve just by using the internal frameworks that are there in um, Python. Good, good, good. Okay, so what I've done is I've defined a setup method, which takes, which just is run before this framework is called, which defines a number, which is five. And then basically I pass that in and see if it works or not. So again, this is run first and then the tests are run. Um, okay, so let's save and run. And as you can see, both the tests ran successfully. So there is another method that's something like destroy. Um, I don't remember its name, but then you can find it in the documentation, which acts like a destructor, which is run after all the tests are run. So cleaning up memory and that sort of stuff. Okay, so this pretty much covers how you you can do or the basics of unit testing in Python. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you again the next time. All right.